Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today we're looking at a, a very interesting thought. It's one that's almost counterintuitive because we look around the world, we see what's going on, and we feel like oftentimes people are doing wrong things, get away with it. There's, there's even things that used to be illegal that people can just kind of do now and it doesn't seem to be any repercussions. We, we look and go, people who do the right things oftentimes end up getting bad results. And it's like, what's going on? Is the world unjust? Are things unfair? And the answer to that is yes, oftentimes the world is unjust and things are unfair. But God is always just, and God always does that which is right. And so here's the message today. When it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, it's better to follow God than not to follow God. Even when things in our world look confused and contorted and mixed up, it's always better to follow God's ways. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 10. I'll read verses 24 and 25, and then I'll jump down to verse 30. Listen to these words from Proverbs 10, 24. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. This is at the end of the story. And then down to verse 30. The righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. What is God saying? He's giving this hope and this encouragement because so often we look at what's happening, we say the people that do the wicked and things and the wrong things seem to make out like bandits and do really well. And oftentimes the people who follow the right paths end up getting mocked or taunted or injured or hurt in some way. And you go, what's going on? And this is God's way of saying, listen, the world isn't always the way it seems. So here's a few thoughts. In this world, it can seem like everything's upside down. You know, you can follow God, live for Jesus, and things don't always go your way. That's true. The Bible doesn't promise following Jesus means a smooth path all the time and everything works out fine. This passage is also indicating that there's people who do wrong and evil that seem to get away with it, seem to get away with it. But the story's not finished. God is a God of justice, a God of goodness, a God of mercy. And so when people are living in the wrong ways, when they're fighting against God, our prayer should be that God would reach them, love them, and bring them to himself, and they, they would never come under judgment. But this passage does say that at the end of the story, when it's all said and done, things will be made right. And those who followed God will experience his blessing. And those who have rebelled against God will live with the consequences of that. And so here's the picture. We don't live in a world where we can say everything ends up happily ever after. That's Disneyland. That's fairy tales. But we do, when we follow Jesus, have an ending of the story. It's not happily ever after, but it's this. It's happily ever after, after. We will live happily ever after, after this life ends. Not in this life. There's many blessings. Enjoy those. But we don't have a promise of the happily ever after ending. But we do have a promise of happily ever after, after. I ask you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, there's people listening to this, this devotional right now today who are living for you, following you, doing things right, and they're experiencing a lot of pain and hardship. We, there's also, also people we watch that are doing everything that seems to be wrong, and they seem to just be lavish with all kinds of wonderful uh, things. They seem to be getting away with it. But God, thank you that at the end of the end of the story, that we will live happily ever after, after this life, and God, that you will make all things right because you are just and you are holy and you are good. Let us walk in that confidence and hope this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, as always, if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you Sunday morning online or on campus, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock on West Coast time. And if you're not part of Shoreline Church and you're, you're not part of a local church, jump in where you are. If you live anywhere in the world, you are find a Bible-believing local church. If you're in Monterey and you're not part of Shoreline, and you're not part of another church, come check it out sometime. We'd love to meet you and get to know you. If you do, be sure you say hi. God bless you. Have a great day.